Hey guys, it's me, Rob Nichols, your Boston-based real estate entrepreneur. And today, I'm here at the Beach House. It's one of my new projects. Uh, we started within the last couple of weeks. Uh, let's check out what they're doing today. So here's the house, guys. As you can see, the exterior is nothing fancy, but this house is located in the Quincy neighborhood of Massachusetts, right on the water. There were a ton of trees in front, and these guys right here, this is the crew that's responsible for cutting the trees, grinding the stumps, all that good stuff. They finished, and you can actually see the house. If you see some of the before pictures, you can barely see the house. You have the beach right there. That's the bay right here uh, off the coast of Quincy. This is the Adams Shore neighborhood. And uh, let's check out what's going on inside first and then I'll show you guys. Actually, you know what? I'll show you guys what's going on down here at the beach area. Oh wow, so it looks like the tide is I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes over here. It's unreal. Woo! They are just biting me up. But as you can see, the tide is all the way out. Normally there's water all the way up to here. These mosquitoes are like attacking me. Crazy. Oh man, get out of here. They're biting me, eating me alive. <laughs> but uh, you can see right here, um, here is the, the water. Uh, the tide is all the way out as I had mentioned before. Uh, typically, it comes all the way up pretty much to right here. And here is the property. I'm calling this one the beach house, guys. We don't do a lot of projects on the water. This is actually our first one. And uh, as you can see, it'll be a clear, unobstructed view. Uh, but the cool thing is too about this house, there will never be a neighbor on the other side of the property. Um, those are wetlands over there. So um, there's a lot of privacy, beautiful views. You actually have views into the city of Boston, which you can't see right now because of all this fog. Uh, but let's go back in the house and check it out. And I'll show you guys what the plan is in there. So as we walk through this project, guys, one thing I want to talk about that I think a lot of flippers, especially new flippers, neglect is making sure your process is tight. Meaning when you first come into a building, when you first come and look at a project um, as a potential property that you want to purchase and flip, you really want to understand that it's super important to make sure you know what to look for, you know what to do first, and you have some kind of ordered process that makes sense. You know, it's good to have contractors who are experienced and they'll be able to guide you, but you really need to know yourself. And so, first thing I wanna say is you wanna understand, um, you have to check utility connections. Like here in this house, the very first thing I did uh, when I purchased the property, even before, I wanted to know, okay, does it have gas? Check it had gas here, which is great because most people, most buyers who are gonna be buying in this area wanna be able to buy a home with gas cooking, gas heat. Not a lot of people in this area like oil anymore. And so from that perspective, I needed to make sure that it had that component uh, here at the property. Um, second thing was the sewer line. Now, a lot of people think if it's new construction, you need to think about these things, but even with flips, it's super important to uh, make sure you understand uh, what the utility connections are like. I've had situations, I know of guys who have done projects, finished everything, and forgot to make sure the gas line uh, was, was connected or the soil line was right. Tie everything in, you get, make everything live, you don't have gas heat or you, you, your soil line is clogged, and then it's a major issue at the end of the project when it's something that you should have thought about early on. And so that's the first thing. I, and the other thing I like to do is also make sure if I'm gonna clear trees, call those guys early because any good tree company, usually, at least in this region, is super busy. So you wanna take care of the stuff that I know is gonna take a lot of time. You do not wanna wait to the end to do it. Even though you think you have time, you know, it's the worst time to try to, to try to do those things. So trees, check. New soil line, check. I have my gas, I have my electric, all the utilities are on, and uh, I'm ready to get started on this project. So the only thing that's gonna hold us up now is the plan. So we have to get plans for this one, um, uh, which is gonna take anywhere from, I'd say two months. You know, they said two to three months. I'm hoping that we can get it done in six to eight weeks. Um, you know, I have seen it happen faster, but this is Quincy, not Boston, so it's a little bit different. I don't have any connections here, you know, and this is also a big part of 
your permitting uh, or, or flipping is making sure you understand the permitting process and you try to work with guys who uh, have ties to the, the local inspectors and are familiar with pulling permits here. The, the contractor I'm using to pull the permit on this property has done work in Quincy, so that's gonna help a little bit, but at the end of the day, when the market's booming and it's busy, it just takes time sometimes. And you gotta be un understand that that is gonna add to your carrying costs. You factor that in from the beginning as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it as far as what you need to look for. Let's take a look upstairs as we progress through this property. And I'll tell you a little bit more about what our plan is for it. We're entering into the side of the building here. Check it out. So it's gonna be a mud room eventually. All right, guys. This place was flooded out, like I said, in one of the last major storms we had here. And uh, we're gonna be turning this first level into a garage. As you can see, they had to cut all the walls out um, so that no mold festered or grew here, which is great. Um, two by fours actually are still in pretty good shape considering um, the water that this place got. They have a fireplace down here, that's gonna be gone. Like I said, we're gonna clear this whole level out and turn this into a garage. What do they got up here? Some old uh, shots of Gronk and Brady, baby. Yep, we're, in, we're here in Quincy, the greater Boston area. You know this is Patriots Nation, folks, up this way, so. That's what's going on there. Football season, preseason just started. They didn't look, good, look so good that first game, but I know Belichick and Brady will get it, get it together. Bathroom, this will be gone. We are planning on trying to have a, one bathroom down here and a little family room in the back. Garage parking off the front of the house. But as you can see, this place needs everything. There's tons of trash in here. We clean this out. As you can see for yourself. Here it is, folks. Still pretty moldy with this carpet here, but the water was congregated more to this side of the building. Um, I think the water came up right around to somewhere around here. Pretty high. So let's head up to the main living level. So there are gonna be two levels in this house, four beds, three baths, one bathroom downstairs I, I had mentioned. So this is going to be an open concept right now. You can see you have your kitchen, check out the view. Not much to look at today with the tide being out and all the fog, but trust me on a beautiful day, you'd be very uh, hard pressed to find a better view. Let's go out here. Ooh, here we go house has been neglected for a long time guys but trust me when this thing is done it is going to be one of the best houses in this neighborhood I can guarantee you that all right let's get inside here so here's the main living level as I mentioned guys uh, this is all gonna be opened up to include on this level an open concept Ooh, water's here it's a mess almost slipped Ugh. what the heck yeah, tons of water got in here, which is uh, one of the downsides. My guys left the door open, but it is what it is. But basically what I'm trying to say, this space here will be opened up totally right across. All right. The stairwell is going to be moved to the side, so it'll come up this way and then head upstairs as well. Um, you'll have two bedrooms back here, a laundry room on this floor and a bathroom on this floor. But you know, let's take a quick look here. And it's really hard to see it based on what's here now. You got three bedrooms, actually four bedrooms on this level. Um, so as you can imagine, it's going to be a uh, pretty spacious single family. Let's head up to the attic. So this is all gonna be dormered out. So you have full ceiling height across both sides of this property. Tons of windows. We're gonna do some windows punch outs. Um, in the dormers, we're going to do sliders up here, so that, and there's going to be a nice terrace leading out to the water, so these folks have some nice picturesque views from their master suite balcony. Everybody wants the en suite nowadays. My guys broke this window. We got to get this secure. Safety first with these projects, guys. Um, but yeah, this is going to be totally reconfigured, um, but you get the idea. Here's what we're starting with, and stay tuned for more as we show you the transformation of this Quincy flip. So that's it for today, guys. Still got more rounds to make, We're finishing up the Rainbow House. We had a whole issue over there with the fence. So I gotta get onto that one um, and get some work done over there. 
Um, but we are in the home stretch. Two units are under contract. That is a condo flip. And um, yeah, that's pretty much it for today, guys. Stay tuned for more. I got some more videos that are going to be uploaded. Folks have been asking me, like, hey, where you been? What's going on? And uh, it's just been super busy with these projects. But um, the dust is starting to sell a little bit as we sell off our last wave. We're doing like three or four at a time. Um, actually, four. And uh, we did sell all but one of those from that batch. And that's the Rainbow House. It's the only one that's left. So I will have more time to be doing videos and sharing more. And uh, yeah, just continue to check in. I try to do at least one video a week, whether it's something where I just kind of give some advice about how to flip or showcase some of the work that we're doing here in the greater Boston area. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, look forward to your feedback. If you like what I'm, the videos and want to learn more about flipping houses, please subscribe. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Stay tuned for more as always and have a great day.